Why are there so many stories of the hero or of heroes? There is a certain typical hero sequence of actions which can be detected in stories from all over the world and from many, many periods of history. It's essentially the one deed done by many, many different people. We set out to set world record to be in the first all-female crew to row across the Pacific Ocean. I thought, wow, how hard can it be? I never wanted to be on national television. I had stop music every part of it. I was like, I'm going to be a Navy SEAL, and I had two warrants out for my arrest. You know, as you win, 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 your ego attaches you directly to your results. Then you lose. It's a cycle. It's a going and a return that the hero cycle represents. We were 500 miles offshore, 10 days into 257 days at sea, and I faced the biggest barrier I had out of the whole trip. The judge said, hey, this guy is adamant about turning his life around. Then yes, I'll expunge his record. That snuck me into the Navy. Over a very short period of time, I went from being slightly hard of hearing to being profoundly deaf in both ears. I said, okay, this is it. Eat, sleep, drink, fighting, no girlfriend, no friends, literally nothing for three years solid. I didn't lose again. A simple initiation ritual. A child has to give up his childhood and become an adult. Has to die, you might say. I'm back, I'm back to the light. Even though I couldn't hear it, I could feel the noise that I was making. Music didn't give up on me. The whole journey in itself was always about testing my boundaries to help others on their journey. It's a fundamental experience that everyone has to undergo.